Hi guys, Miss Venable here bringing you a sip sis reaction and one of our reactions today is going to be magnesium. Uh, magnesium is a metal and you can see that it's very silvery in color. It's uh, kind of a uh, soft metal, it's silvery white. Uh, it's very malleable which means I can bend it and flex it and it's ductile which means I can pull it into a, a kind, of, kind of wire shape and we're going to react this with oxygen which means uh, we're going to burn it. So you see the O2 there is one of my reactants and the product is going to be magnesium oxide. So let's um, look and see what this looks like. So let's turn on our burner and we're going to hold our magnesium into the flame. It's actually going to flash kind of a bright um, white color and I don't I don't want to look at it. So um, I'll kind of give me spots. So I'm going to try to kind of look away. And I also have a little crucible here. Um, this thing's going to be very hot and so I don't want to put it on the lab desk. And this is um, this is a porcelain that's meant to hold really hot material. So this is what I'm going to I'm going to drop it into after it flashes. All right. So here we go. This is the synthesis and it flashes that white color and I'm going to drop it into my crucible and let it do its business. Alrighty, so what's left is kind of a gray ash and there's a little bit of that gray ash on my tongs as well and I'll show you what this gray ash looks like. This is the magnesium, the magnesium oxide as an ash and again it's instead of being that silvery color it's it's kind of grayish white and it's sort of chalky it's no longer metallic in nature it kind of just falls apart if I touch it okay so let's balance this chemical equation we have one magnesium one magnesium two oxygens and one oxygen so obviously if I need a two out front um, that fixes my oxygen, but it messes up my magnesium. So I got to go back over here and put a two in front of that. So this has been the chemical reaction uh, of magnesium and oxygen. This is a synthesis reaction because I took two individual things, magnesium and oxygen, and I produced one product, magnesium oxide. Now, you did notice it gave off all this light energy as well. And there is a way to show that um, anytime something produces energy in the form of heat or light, it's called an exothermic reaction. And so if I wanted to include that idea in this equation, the way we do that is we put a little plus symbol and we can put delta H. And that tells me that it's producing energy in the form of heat or light, which is what we call an exothermic reaction. All right, thanks for joining me.